So I'm going to show you two ways that I use salt to get texture in my watercolors. First I want to show you the brush that I'm using. This is a hog's hair brush that I buy at the hardware store and gives me some nice grassy textures and I'm going to take some sap green which I by itself is not a great color but I'll add in some burnt sienna to get a nice grassy color and use it in trees as well but um, and you see the nice textures that the brush gives me and um, I want to put it on a little thicker than I normally do just a little bit here and there let the colors mixed on the paper or you always get in more interesting results now it has to sit for just a little bit to get the shine just before the shine leaves the paper um, if you do it too soon it doesn't work as well now I'm going to use two types of while we're waiting for that I'm going to use two types of salt I'm going to use the regular fine table salt and then I'm going to use kosher salt which has um, I'll just show you it has different size granules which gives you a more interesting pattern actually I'm going to try it now and just drop the um, kosher salt on this one side and you don't want to put too much if you overdo it it doesn't look nice and for that reason I wouldn't shake the salt the fine salt out from the bottle I would put some on your hand take a pinch of salt like this and just add it where you you have more control then about where you want it to go and if you if you overdo it it can look a little I'm going to put a little bit amongst amongst the kosher salt now we have to wait for that to dry and I'm going to show you one more thing I'm going to show you how to create rocks rock textures rather in watercolor and for this I want to use French ultramarine and burnt sienna let's just do a little bit more here put a bit more burnt sienna French ultramarine in there okay so that again you want to just wait a little bit now I'm going to scrape off the paint to get these textures and I'm going to use my palette knife you can also use and lots of people do you can use a broken a piece of credit card you can do it with that you can do it with the end of a brush that has a an end like this you can scrape into it whatever works for you I'm going to try and see if, if it's it's probably a little early but let's try and see this work okay that's okay it's kind of working you don't want all of the um, scrapings to be the same size or the same width just remember what rocks actually look like and maybe we want to do a round one here coming down and you again you don't want to overdo it so I wouldn't do it any more than that look how nice that came out see the lovely textures in the rock formations so here's the finished results with the um, salt taken off when you rub the salt off it's um, quite harsh on your hands so you have to be careful but you can see here in the area where I put the small table salt you get these very fine textures and then over here where I used the kosher salt I almost like that better or a mixture of the two would be nice where you get um, what looks like little flowers amongst the grasses and that's um, a very easy way to create more interest in your watercolors here's a watercolor that I did using this technique and you can see here particularly um, 
I was quite pleased with the way that came out. When I was so I hope you enjoyed this video and on my next video I'm going to go into the use of color. When I was a beginner watercolorist the hardest thing that I had to decide was what colors to buy. What colors do you buy? So I'm going to try and cover, do a series on color and how to mix color, what colors to choose for different things. So if you're interested in seeing more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link at the bottom of this video. And I hope to see you again.